Happy birthday, America! This is Black Tree on TV, and I'm your host, Alex Hudgens, here at your number one source for urban entertainment. All right, y'all, it's the USA's birthday, and we're going to party like it's our birthday, Black Tree on TV style. You already know how we do. We bring you nothing but fireworks every day. So in honor of the 4th of July, nothing but bangers today. Like my swag? Check it out. We're talking with the cast of Earth to Echo, the hot new extraterrestrial movie. And we head to the Los Angeles Film Festival to hang out with the cast of the hot new indie flick, Dear White People. Plus, we get cozy with Think Like a Man 2's Michael Ely. And we have an exclusive first look at Step Up All In. But first up, Sean Edwards sits down with the gorgeous and talented Olivia Munn, one of the stars of the horror movie Deliver Us From Evil. Let's go, Sean. Oklahoma City, cool. I Thank had you. no idea you were from Oklahoma City, so that's cool. Yeah. And I am a big fan of the Thunder. We gotta get KD the ring, though. I, well, you know, it's. I think that it's been so early that everything, you know, whenever, now, now it's been a few years that people start to nitpick, but right now they're doing really great, and he will get it soon. Okay. Right, well, don't you I, think? I, I'm hoping. I'm a, I'm, a hu I'm a huge fan. I can't afford his sneakers, but I'm a huge fan. It starts to disintegrate when everybody starts to go their own ways. And All right, well, they got to get past San Antonio, too, though. Yeah. They keep popping back up. Just well, we get some of the Miami guys who uh, want to go free agent, then we, we're good. All right, when, when Oklahoma City wins a championship, I will remember this conversation. All right. Now, let's talk about this scary movie. Or yeah, you don't like, like a, scary movies. No, I do no, not. Why not? Is it because you, you're scared of what's going to No, but here's the deal. I think it goes all the way back to my childhood, because my very first introduction to a horror movie was The Exorcist. Uh huh. So I've been scarred since then. Scarred? No, seriously. Well, this one's scary because it has an exor it has exorcism in it. I, and it's based on a true story. Yeah, I, seriously. I, that, yeah. That, that sort of blew me away that this movie is based on true yeah. events. And I, did you hear about the actual videotapes? No, tell me. What, what's up with the actual so videotapes? You know, from, you know, the NYPD had to do exorcisms because this is a true story right. that happened. To, and they have these VHS tapes that you can't see anywhere. You're not going to see them online or anything. They're, it, they're not on YouTube? Not so on YouTube. it's the one thing on the planet that's not on YouTube? Yeah, because these are locked away. These are like very special things that okay. you're not allowed to see because it's, it's I mean, it's, it's like NYPD stuff. So did you get to see them because you were in the movie? I got to see them. Eric Bana saw them first and he couldn't sleep for three weeks. So, so what's I, on, what was on the tape? What's on the tape? Okay, I only watched one part before I turned it off because it freaked me out. So I'm looking at a guy and he's sitting there and it's the grainy black and white, right. So it's but it's the real tape and you're seeing this guy and he's sitting there in a straight jacket and he's shaking and he's got this otherworldly look in his eyes. That's what Eric said, otherworldly. And I said, you mean like crazy? He goes, no, no, like he's from another world. And it's wow. true, his eyes look like he was from another world. And he's shaking and out of nowhere his forehead splits open out of nowhere and he's in the straight jacket and he starts and then he starts drooling and as soon as he the drool hits his shirt his white straight jacket it turns into blood and i'm watching this and as soon as that happens i turn off the i turn off the tape and it's i can't do anymore no there's, there's no there's no check big enough to get me to watch those tapes okay now let's head to the los angeles film festival where we caught up with the entire cast of the new sci-fi movie earth to echo starring one of our favorites, Astro. So, first of all, thanks for a great family, fun movie. I mean, I enjoyed all, enjoyed all of your characters. Thank you. My first question is, Echo is, is leaving like all these essential pieces of him like all, all around that you guys are, are located. If there was one place that would hold something that's beside you guys' home, you know, that's essential to, to who you guys are, where would that one place on a map be, you know, for, for you guys? Probably Sweden for me, just because I grew up there. I was born there and lived there for six years, so probably my country house in Sweden. Probably the ocean for me, because I surf and like I couldn't, I couldn't imagine like living inland without the ocean. So you just put it in a bag and bring it with us. For sure. <laughs> cool. Shrink myself down. Um, Someone shakes the pack up. <laughs> I'd probably get my baby cousin Royce from Arizona. Yeah. That's what I'd do. Probably Dumbo, Brooklyn. Okay. Do you think you can see us right now? <laughs> you have to check this out. This is amazing. <laughs> is it? Is it amazing? Because I think it's scary as balls. I mean, obviously people are looking for it. Munch. It has access to our voicemails and our texts and our ringtones. How do you even know it's a he? Are you a dude? <laughs> <laughs> Wait. You understood us. <laughs> All right, here's how it goes. One beep is yes, two beeps are no. Watch. 
is one beep yes? <laughs> Yo, that's so tight. Are we in a barn? <laughs> okay, I have a question. Are we gonna die tonight? Why isn't it answering? Would you... Well, that's not good, right? 20 questions with an alien. Chuck Sims exclusive. Let's do this. All right, um, are you from space? Woo! Are you a robot? <laughs> do you eat humans? <sighs> it's perfect, perfect. Do you like Earth? <laughs> why, why doesn't he like Earth? <sighs> do you like us? Oh, you see? I told you, we're cool. Like that, come on. One good thing about this movie is it like inspires hope and everything else. And I know Dave, you know, tried to tell the story through the eyes of you know adult, young young adults and everything. How how essential was your guys' input to to Dave? You know, trying to speak through you guys' voices. Well, Dave, he, yeah, no, go for it. Well, he is really young, um, and he, you know. He tells it very authentically. He was open to suggestions. He was telling us what to do. We were giving him, it was a very um, back and forth uh, kind of relationship. And that was really nice. What were you gonna say? Dave had this like kind of like vision for the movie. Like he didn't, I mean, he didn't, he had a really good idea, I think, of what he wanted. And I think that was really like, it was good that he had that. Otherwise, I think we would have been lost because if it wasn't for him and Henry Gaden, the writer, who just like let us, like they kept us true to who we were, who our characters were. And we didn't. He made. Uh, they made sure that we didn't veer off, and we didn't lose sight of what our characters' goals were, and everything like that. And they were really. I mean, Dave was. He knew what he wanted, which was awesome. And yet again, he was very open to suggestions. You know, and if something didn't sound natural, you could tell him. You know, we were comfortable enough on set. Okay, now they were fun. I told you guys, nothing but bangers today as we celebrate America's birthday. Coming up. We're hanging out with the cast of Dear White People to find out what their new movie is all about. And we get cozy with Think Like a Man 2 star Michael Ely. Plus, we have that first look at Step Up All In. Then, we're reminiscing about summer vacations with the cast of Tammy. Next, right here and only right here on Black Tree on TV. Stay tuned. You're watching Black Tree on TV, only on Soul of the South.